guys, we are back in Python, and we are on the pig Latin section under control, or conditionals and control flow. We're going to be building a pig Latin translator, it says here. Again, I'll be resetting the code as we go here. Alright, so. Save and submit. Nothing to do on this first one. So first we're going to print out pig Latin. Remind us how to print. Good enough. Pig Latin, cool. Next we are going to get some raw input. So do they want us to name something? They want us to name the variable original. And we're gonna set it equal to raw underscore input. And in our raw input, we're going to have a string that's going to say enter a word. Cool. Uh, click save and submit. The input's going to ask us for a word, and we'll put YouTube. Why not? This will be our pig Latin YouTube translator. All right, so we have our input. It says add an if statement that checks the length of the original. All right, we're going to say uh, if it's greater than zero. So if len dot original. So if the length of this is greater than zero, uh, it's a colon for that. We want to do some stuff. What do we want it to do? The string actually has some characters. print the user's word. Alright, so print original. Oops. Nope, no brackets. I want to print it original. And then we're going to do else. We want it to print empty. Alright, so welcome to the pig latin translator and enter a word pig okay cool and then it prints pig now use an add to this add a second condition to your statement in addition to your existing check that the string contains characters you should also use is alpha to make sure that it only contains letters if length dot original is greater than zero and original dot is alpha is alpha is equal equal to true all right we'll do pig empty do you remember to use is alpha oops let's see if that might be it pig again cool so it's working it knows it's only let it is alpha if it's equal to true it means it's only letters in our string to print so this is just saying take a look at our code before we move on there's our pig it should print pig all right part two of this so uh, create a variable called pyg set pyg equal to a y Now create a new variable called word that holds dot lowercase conversion of original. So I'm going to say word equals original dot lower. Create a new variable called first that holds word zero, the first letter of word. And we'll say word first equals word zero. Did you create a variable called first? Oh, first. Just first. All right. 
next up, create a variable called new word and set it equal to the concatenation of word first and PYG. All right, so we have new underscore word and that's equal to word plus first plus PYG. Let's see if this works. I think it will. Uh, pig. All right. And now set the new word equal to the slice from the first index all the way to the end of the new word using. All right, so we want to say new word is equal to one colon the length of new underscore word. So what's going on here is we're saying for a new word, so s is our string, so new word is equal to the length, one to the end of new word. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, so I think what we need to do here is do it like this. So this is saying go from one to six in new word, and we need new word right here. it needs to know what to do this for. So enter our word, just keep going with pig, line seven. So we're not declaring this properly. Set new word, oh, new underscore word. Let's try this one more time. New word is not defined. more syntax errors I think alright so that's working so what's going on here real quick just to reiterate we're resetting new word to be what our new word value is from the one position to the end of the string that's why we're calling length we could also use a, a, a number there if we wanted to and make sure your translator is working save and submit so Instead of original, we want it actually to print new word. Big pay. So that's our new word if uh, for pig. And that's our our uh, pig Latin translator. A little, a little bit just mess around with. Uh, the slicing of words that's probably the hardest part of this lesson but uh, up next we're gonna get more into the meat and potatoes as they say of functions um, you know this is where in my eyes programming really starts so we'll be doing functions it looks like we're going to be messing with taxes and bills and a little bit of math with it so I will see you guys in the next video